Okay. Hi, and welcome back to Stop Being Sold. My name is Michelle, and I'm here with Brian. And in today's video, we're discussing the breaking news on the inflation front. Now, yeah, right? <laughs> Breathe. The CPI, <laughs> or the Consumer Price Index, uh, rose again in April uh, by 8.3%. From, from last year, um, yep. which we're now close to the highs from summer of 1982. Yeah. Pretty high, right? Uh, yeah. And this is higher, the high, the estimates were what, 8.1%. So this came in much higher than what was estimated. And as expected, when this happens, the initial reaction on Wall Street was not so great. Um, yeah. Futures were up early, you know, while they waited on the release, but fell immediately on the news. And then I guess after the markets opened, things started to recover. Yeah, you know, it it bounced around quite a bit today and ended up lower for the day, actually, because they're really scared about this inflation front. And um, but that's where we are with the market. You know, we've we're so close to what we feel is a bottom here now that mm -hmm. we've overshot it. We truly believe that because this the economy is just booming. So, but uh, let's talk about the consumer price index. You know, it's a broad based measure of prices for goods and services out there. Right. And the core CPI minus food and energy, Michelle, it rose by 6.2%. And that also was higher than the, higher than the estimates. estimates. So, you know, many were hoping, and that's why the markets were so high pre-market before the market opened this morning, that we'd hit a peak back in March of inflation and the Fed wouldn't have to be as aggressive in rising these interest rates. You know, we rose rates twice this year so far just to try to slow down inflation. So Yeah, and that was what, 25 basis points in March and 50 basis points in April. Yes. So my question is, you know, obviously it seems like inflation's here to stay for just a little bit longer, hopefully, or longer. Do you think that the Fed will have to raise rates even more uh, next time to slow down inflation? No, I, I, I don't believe so. Mistaken. I think, and here's the scenario. Um, we leveled off. Sure. Okay. Um, we actually came down and, and the numbers were actually lower than uh, the previous month of 8.3, right? So what we're trying to do is bring it down even more. And I truly believe the Fed feels if they hit 75 basis points instead of a 50 basis points hike, they do that. Then all of a sudden the reading comes out and we're lower than what was expected. And they're going to say, well, the Fed was wrong again. So I honestly, I think they're going to stay at 50 basis points and let the economy work itself out and let inflation work itself out. So okay. All right. Well, let's take a look at some of these, the highlights from this report, because, you know, the CPI, it groups everything into one and I prefer to look at it individually because, right. you know, well, it, it gives you a real good idea about what's going on. So we had gasoline, good news. It fell 6.1%. Which was odd because we're <laughs> at our record high right here in Texas right now, which kind of don't make sense. And I actually feel we're going higher. But gasoline actually fell 6.1%. So well, and so did auto big. prices. Auto prices fell 0.4%. Yeah. Um, new auto, new auto, new cars rose or charged trucks, whatever, uh, rose 1.1%. Right. And then we have what no one wants to see happen, the food. Food. Food, food rose again. Chicken's up 3.4%. Eggs, 10.3%. I paid Simon four Hobby bucks Farm for people. 18 eggs today. Four bucks. I was getting them for 97 cents. Right. Two months yeah. ago. Yeah. And then bacon, one of my favorites, is up 2.9%. So I'm glad I hoarded that. <laughs> and it, it, we've talked about this recently on a few of our other videos, Michelle. Um, during some of my travel, I seen that prices were going up. You know, the oh, mask yeah. mandates down. Prices are going up. Well, guess what? Highest increase since 1963 when they started watching how the airline prices um and start calculating them yeah. into the cpi 18.6 percent increase biggest that's not, 1963 that's not good for those who have to travel um unexpectedly and or people who have not yet booked their summer trips well that's it so I um i think i've seen a study today talking about this where a questionnaire had went out and it said okay so where are you making your cuts at yeah and 57 percent, i think uh, in this survey it was 
in in um, cutting their not their monthly budget, but their travel their uh, travel. Like um, not driving as much was number one, and number two was the summer vacations. Yep, absolutely. So, which right. is a well, big change. So we weren't expecting that. Exactly. All right. So this is our update. Stay tuned for more. Brian and I make beauty videos and everything from news updates, inflation, like we've done today, 401ks, IRAs, anything that really like helps you make better decisions about your financial future. If you like the content in this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Help us grow that channel. And if you have comments or questions, don't forget, leave them down below this video. We're more than happy to answer those. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks Brian. And thanks everybody for this, for being here. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.